the Starfighters booth and we are here with Elvira. Yes, otherwise known as Mistress of the Dark. <laughs> so, tell us about a little bit about uh, Starfighters. Yeah, so Starfighters Arcade is a great arcade. It's out in East Mesa. It's fun for the whole family. It's focused on 70s, 80s, and 90s arcade games. Um, but it's also fun for adults because you can bring your own beverages. And so if you know what that means, we can have a lot of fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, um, as today, actually, they will be having a Donkey Kong competition. Yes, yeah, so Robbie Lakeman, um, the world record holder for Donkey Kong, is actually going to be here at 1 o'clock, and he's going to be trying to beat his world record. So we're really excited for that when That's, that one comes out. Oh, yeah, we definitely will be filming this also. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we're excited to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are here, I'm here with John. John, how's it going? Good, man, what's going on? Good to see you. So, uh, you got your, uh, from, uh, game, uh, game on Expo. Game on Expo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then that's going to be when? Uh, August 5th through 7th, so I'll be here at this uh, Mesa Convention Center. And one of the things I like, I said, you know, I've actually been seeing your YouTube channel. So oh, thank you, man, I appreciate it. I do enjoy that. Yeah, so, cool. I just wanted to come by and just say hi to you. Oh, thank you, man. I've seen your videos. You've come here before to Zapcon, right? Yes. Nice. So how many years have you come here? This is going to be my third year. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so awesome. We used to do it at the uh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Now that they have it here. So. It's a great show. It's awesome to see it grow every year. Yeah, so we do like it and everything, so yeah. it's a lot of fun. But yeah, it's fun to meet you and want to say hi to you. Awesome, man. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. We are here at the um, at the booths over here for the grid, and I am here with Kia. Kia, yeah. Yeah, how's it going? Not bad. How are you? So, tell us about this machine. Killer Queen. So, uh, Killer Queen is our pride and joy. Uh, it's a five-on-five -five competitive game, uh, and uh, there are only about a dozen of these sets uh, in existence. So, we've got one. Uh, Portland has one. Chicago. Uh, New York, and St. Louis, and some other cities. So we're very, very fortunate to have it in Mesa. Uh, basically, it's incredibly exciting. It's very, very competitive. Um, there's three ways to win. Uh, you can win economically. You can see they're trying to fill up uh, their hive with berries. You can uh, win by killing the other queen or running a snail into a hive. So it seems pretty simple. It can get very complicated. There's a lot of strategy, a lot of fast flutter fingers. People's hands get completely worn out. Uh, we play it every night. So free play at the grid, uh, 8 to 11 p.m. every Thursday. And there's a big following now. we got 40 or 50 players every week playing this. As you can see, there's drink holders built straight into the machine. This is a drinking game, but you don't have to drink to play. Okay. Yeah, and um, you guys are located in Gilbert, right? Uh, almost Gilbert. So it's Mesa on Gilbert Ro uh, Gilbert and Broadway. Okay, perfect. And uh, what do you guys are always are open? What's that? What do you guys uh, are open? like? Uh, so the grid is open uh, most days starting at 4 p.m. Um, until 1 a.m. And we play uh, league night starting at 8 p.m. every Thursday. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. The men's room arcade? Yes, that's right, yes. I see this uh, setup right here. You got a little cocktail uh, custom made? Right, right. These are made out of uh, Pacific Northwest Lumber from Seattle, the uh, Cascade Lumber Company. It's American-made, and uh, we have a special machine that's a coffin top. And inside of it, you can put classic consoles like your Xbox 360, and you can run the classic games like the Donkey Kong Miss Pac-Man all in one cabinet. It's also on wheels. It's the only one sold on wheels with a coffin top, and uh, it has headphones so you can play at night and nobody hears the games. Here you go. Right, it's kind of loud in here as well, right? <laughs> and um, what do these, like, normally, like, something like this would cost? Right, so we're selling just the cabinets with the monitor and controls for about $800. And then uh, if you want the full blown unit with all the games, it'll run somewhere between $1,000 and $1,400, depending on how many games you want. Okay. And um, do you guys have a website that people can check out? We do. It's mensroomarcades.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Zapcon, and we are here with Jacob and James. How are you guys doing? Good. And so you guys are ready? You guys are pumped? Oh, are <laughs> yeah, four weeks. We're, yeah, Friday the 13th. Oh, so that's going to be the... That's the grand opening, <laughs> yeah. We're doing a big special event. We're going to have uh, some TV crews there. It's going to be... Uh, 
Right. Pretty awesome. We're that is great. Stoked. And you guys are located right on Centro and, uh, and Camelback. Yeah, right? that's right. We're right next door to the new All About Books and Comics location. Nice. So we're partnering up with them. Uh, Imperial Outpost, tabletop games. Uh, and then we'll have 15 to 20 freestanding arcade games. Okay. Always set to free play, no cover charge. Perfect. That's great. All right. So, uh, as always, you guys can check them out at bonusroundphoenix.com. Is that correct? Yeah. And you guys have a Facebook page also? Yeah. Yeah. Just search Bonus Round PHX. Um, that's us. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.
Peter Driller. His score was 367. 505, is that correct? 367,505. 367,505. On the 500 meter mode. On the 500 meter. So, we did actually have a video of it. We did record it. If you guys want to check it out, we will post it at thisholarcade.com. You can always check it out on YouTube. And as this always has been brought to you by, uh, for the Men's Arcade, Men's Room Arcade. So you guys can check that out also, mensroomarcade.com. But yeah, we'd like to thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So we got it down, so it's pretty cool. It's good. All right, thank you so much. Thank you much. All right, appreciate it. Well, ZapCon 2016 has been a great success. What do you think of the whole outcome, Hector? Well, actually, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it this year. We have a few games that were here that weren't here last year, and it's just fantastic, phenomenal. Some of these games are in position to be played. <laughs> That's all I can say. I truly agree with you. You know what I'm saying? You, you really agree with this? As I really do. As you see on the playbook, as you go around in the circle on the game, they have an <laughs> X's and O's on each single machine and everything. When people walk around, passes over the token. Oh, wait, they don't have any tokens because it's actually <laughs> free right. play. It's all free to play, people. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> tokens. How old school is that? Ah, tell me oh, about it. Oh, my goodness. Ha. <laughs> Serious note, <laughs> I have to say, ZapCon is a great success again. You know, uh, Yet again. it's the fourth year here, and uh, I have to say, I'm very happy happy over 300 games uh, it's a uh, very very excited you know it's, yeah, it's uh, a good time to be here right now weather's great outside but I'd rather be inside because these games fantastic yeah it's so a really good turnout can't definitely. wait for next year's so we're gonna go back as always you know end up our night and everything playing the games and just enjoying ourselves so thank you so much for watching this solo arcade my name is Ricardo I'm Hector we'll see you next time next time all right I'm gonna beat you no wait no. Wait, we're you gonna say you didn't, that doesn't sound right. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> play the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. go over there. Yeah, like, come on. <laughs>